Good evening everyone and happy Sabbath. This morning my wife told me that uh, the government has already declared next week will be the enrollment. And I had a problem because of that because my wife is going to take this television because she has been using the television in her classroom. And I said, then what shall I do? I have no more television for my visual aid. Just a few minutes later, my wife received a message. Somebody from Commonwealth Quezon City has sent a message to my wife that he's going to give me a certain amount for my ministry. Few minutes later, my wife received a text message from Palawan and uh, the man actually has sent the money. And I said, I praise the Lord that the God who is all-powerful, all-knowing, and a God who sustains His creation is the same God who sustains creatures' needs like myself. And so this afternoon, we went to the mall and buy this brand new television for this online study of God's Word. And uh, tonight's prayer will be a special prayer of blessing to the donor of this television and also a special blessing to this ministry that the Lord will continue to use this ministry to inspire people. And so I invite you to bow your heads with me as we offer a special prayer for our donor, Brother Urbano Magabuhay Jr. Kuya John, daghang kayong salamat nga gigamit ka sa ginoo alang ni ining atong buluhaton. Thank you very much to you and to your family. The Lord, I'm sure, has used you today to supply the needs of His work of preaching the gospel through this Bible study online. Let's bow our heads for a special prayer of blessing. Our Father in heaven, O Lord, our God, the God of Abraham and Isaac and the God of Moses, who inspired Moses to write the creation account. O Lord, tonight, we praise you for your being a God who knows everything and a God who is so loving, who is willing to sustain our needs even before we ask for it. And tonight is an evidence, dear Lord, a strong testimony that you are existing, that you are sustaining your creation, and that you have been faithful to your promise that you will supply all our needs. I'd like to pray special to Brother Urbano Makabuhay Jr. and his whole family that you will bless them with good health and strength, that you will lengthen their lives, that you will keep them from infections, and that you will bless their enthusiasm to serve you through this special support to the ministry. O oh Lord, I pray that you will continue to bless his business, bring more customers such that the money that they have invested will not only be returned, but it will be doubled and doubled and doubled in a way there will be no more space to receive the blessings you have promised. O oh Lord, I pray that you will continue to inspire people like them, multiply people like them, that they will invest for your kingdom, their talents, their time, and their resources. Thank you that you will bless this ministry. It will continue to inspire people and also it it will be a means to reach out to people who don't believe in Christ, especially to those who don't believe in creation. Oh Lord, thank you that you will now be with us as we review important values, and that is our faith in the creation. Thank you, Lord, that you will enlighten us now, for I pray in Jesus' name, amen. I'd like to welcome all of you to our session tonight uh, entitled Teacher's Edition. My teacher's objective and all those who will be teaching tomorrow is to strengthen faith in the creation account that we have been studying Genesis creation for 14 days. As a teacher, I wanted to assess whether my students, whether our choose members have been strengthened in their faith in the creation account. I know you have read many books on evolution from elementary, high school, and even in college. Textbooks have been used there which have been written in favor of evolution. That's why as a teacher, I wanted to assess, I wanted to know uh, whether our studies have impacted your faith. And so that's my interest tonight. And I will try to assess members of my classes if their faith 
have been strengthened. If their faith is not strengthened, then I truly have a problem. I really need to assess and that is my uh, objective there if uh, their faith is not strengthened. There are two methods I will use. Number one is the online assessment survey that I have posted in the uh, Facebook uh, page and there are those who responded although it's premature to compute but I needed data at least I have basis to discuss the level of the faith of our people and their understanding of the several topics, 14 topics that we have discussed last week and this week. So one method is online assessment survey. I'd like to thank all those who have participated and those who will still be participating tonight and until tomorrow. The second one is the scaling question. I will process members of my class who don't believe much in creation or who are not sure about their faith in the creation account. I hope no one in my class tomorrow will answer the lower scale there which would deem that they have problems with creation. Okay, so let me show you the distribution of uh, the respondents. 69.2% of the respondents comprising female. So ladies, thank you for your uh, being responsive. There are more of you who responded in this survey. 30.8% uh, is male. Thank you very much. Now let me also, I just asked two very important demographic variables. The second one is the distribution of the respondents the unions. Okay, our online ministry is worldwide. So I just wanted to assess how many are from the South Philippine Union Conference, from the North and from the South, and those outside of the Philippines. Based on the data I received, just just few minutes ago, majority 53.8% from the South Philippine Union Conference. Thank you very much, especially Oroqueta City. And the second is 38.5% from the North Philippine Union Conference. Majority of that from South Central Luzon Conference. Calabarzon, thank you very much for your support and for your prayers to this ministry. And 7.7% .7 of the respondents comes from the outside of the Philippines, America and other countries. I give you the breakdown and then I will go to the last, the total or the mean of the um, survey. The first question is science or naturalism provides us with a better understanding of the universe than does religion. See? So that's the question. The mean or the average is actually 2.2. That means that the majority disagree that science or naturalism provides us better understanding of the universe. In other words, the majority of the respondents believe that creation by faith through the written account in the scripture has provided us a better understanding of the universe. I encourage you to go to the internet and read. There are so many mysteries that science cannot explain until this time. And only by faith we can understand the mystery in the whole universe. Number two, we can only rationally believe in what is scientifically provable. The mean 2.53 is actually 3. So the rule is 0.5 and above, we get the upper scale. So undecided. In other words, I need to explain it some more. Why? According to this question, we can only rationally believe. No. It's not only scientific that we can prove the things that are in existence. For example, why are there plants? Why are there animals? Why are there human beings? There is another theory that could explain it aside from science, and that is creation. So here, I need to make it clear that the things we see around can be explained not only by science, but it can be explained by the theory of creation. And when we subscribe to the theory of creation, what is required is faith. And the Bible promises that God will sustain understanding. In the Christian perspective, we explain the things around by faith, and reason comes after faith, not before faith. It should be faith first, and then God gives the reason for our faith. It's not actually a blind faith, no. Number three question is, science or naturalism tells 
us everything there is to know about what reality consists of. The mean is 2.38. In other words, the majority of the respondents disagree and I congratulate you for your answer. As a researcher and as a minister, as a Bible teacher, this is what I want to know about you who are listening and who are studying the Bible. Science tells us everything there is to know about what reality consists of. No! Not only science can tell us everything about reality. Creation tells us many things that we need to know in as far as salvation is concerned. You know the problem with naturalism, with science, is that they cannot actually prove supernatural. God is supernatural being. They cannot put God in the laboratory, in the test tube and analyze God. That's beyond the, their understanding. That's beyond their capability. Since they cannot prove supernatural, they want to discard creation. That's the problem there. Okay, number four, all the tasks human beings face can be solved by science. The answer is 1.46. Strongly disagree. Congratulations. Now, I'm very happy that you as student of the Bible, members of the Seventh-day Adventist Jews, at least understood clearly the doctrines we're studying last week and until this week. So, I'm now satisfied we should strongly disagree because not everything can be solved by science. Okay, there are so many limitations of science. Well, I don't want to discuss it now. Number five, the scientific method is the only reliable path to knowledge. Strongly disagree. 1.46. Congratulations! And all of you who have been studying the Bible, all of you who have been listening to this additional material to understand creation, thank you very much that you strongly disagree with this. That is not the only reliable path to knowledge. In fact, the Bible tells us so many illustrations that God is the source of knowledge. In fact, the wisest men in the kingdom of Babylon were unable to solve the mystery by but it was Daniel who was given wisdom by God that was able to solve all the mysteries that occurred during the Babylonian Empire. Number six, the only real kind of knowledge we can have is scientific knowledge. 1.61, disagree at least. You disagree with it. In other words, you understand what creation is all about and what science is all about. Okay, congratulations. Thank you for that response. 1.61. Disagree. Number seven, second to the last. Science or naturalism is the most valuable part of human culture. Here, our respondents replied undecided. 2.61. In other words, we need to explain it some more. Science is not the most valuable part of our human culture. Faith or religion is one of the strongest and most important part of religion. In fact, I have studied this morning publication from Elsevier and they said in the literature that actually religious faith have given comfort to people, especially to those who are dying. They also studied faith in science, also have contributed uh, comfort, especially those who are dying. Okay, so that's not the only most valuable part of human culture. In fact, in the Philippines, we are the only Christian nation here in the Far East, and we believe in the creation account. Number eight, the last, science is the most efficient means of attaining Truth. Disagree. 2.07. Congratulations for your answers, for your responses. You disagree with it. I agree with you that science is not the most efficient means of attaining truth. Okay? Faith is a means of attaining truth. In the biblical perspective, truth is defined not as something but as somebody. Jesus is the truth, you see. In the Bible, truth is not something. It is somebody. It's Jesus Christ. If we have faith in Him, He gives us the reasons of our faith. So, thank you very much for your responses. I hope more will respond to that. There is no wrong or right answer there. Okay? Thank you very much for supplying us data that will help us in our pastoral ministry. I will share it with everybody that we need to really strengthen our doctrines in creation. The total mean is actually 2.0. That's not the only source of knowledge. That's not the only source of truth. That's not the only way to appreciate culture and so on and so forth. There is another way to understand truth and the things in this universe and that is creation thank you very much now i will go to processing 
I will quote some text in the Bible and I hope no one will disagree so that I will have no processing. Hebrews 11, 1, 2, 3. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. For by faith, the people of old received their commendation. By faith, we understand that the universe was created by the word of God so that what is seen was not made out of things that are visible. In other words, faith will help us understand creation from nothing or creation ex nihilo. Ex means out, nihil is nothing. The universe, including our planet Earth, was created by God from nothing. He has spoken, everything existed because God is omnipotent. He is all-powerful and He cannot be analyzed in laboratory and therefore they cannot conclude that God exists. That is the limitation of science. And we are happy that we believe in true science as well as we believe in creation. Science in the Bible do not contradict itself. Science support the Bible. And I hope we will maintain such stand until Jesus come. I have the assurance of things hoped for. That's faith. The conviction of things not seen. I have not seen God. I have not seen heaven. But I have known it by scriptures. Everything has been laid down there for my information and for me to be saved. The second one is, by faith I understand that the universe was created by the word of God. That is my belief. That is my conviction. I hope my students in the Sabbath school would agree or strongly agree with me. If you don't agree with me, you say undecided, you say disagree, uh, everyone must go into process. I will ask the question, the same question, what brought you there undecided? I will unpack your answers, at least two or three behaviors, and then I will ask the question, what will you do to increase your faith in the creation account? And I hope that we could come up with specific behaviors for you to develop your faith in the creation account. Thank you. I hope this will help strengthen the faith of our people in the creation account despite innumerable voluminous amount of books in the library in favor of evolution. Father in heaven, thank you that the Sabbath hour you have enlightened our thoughts and help us that we may strengthen this important religion values and that is faith believing in the things we do not see and you will reveal evidences of our faith in jesus name i pray amen lift up the trumpet